welcome back to Let's Play Terra Enigma. On the last episode, we uh, drooled over all the amazing music in this uh, <laughs> great game. And we opened up the Elder's secret door and found its box and opened it. When we did, everyone froze, even our girlfriend. And we, at the end, we were like, we should go to the Elder. He hid the box, he should know about it. So that's what we're gonna do now. We get out of the sadness dungeon, the sad basement of blue. And we're gonna go talk to the Elder. Everyone's frozen, though. I think if you talk to him, says, what's happening here, say something. He says the same thing for all of them, so there's no reason. But yeah, the Elder should be in here, so... Let's slip in, or he's not! <clears throat> you still can't get those chests, so don't try. Oh, the Elder's here. Mm. Hey, what happened here? Tell me, Gramps! You enormous fool! So you guys brought about this situation. I can't do an old man voice. Just... I decree- I can't do an old man voice. I decree the door must never be opened because I feared this. But we cannot leave the people the way they are, frozen. Do you wish to return to normal? Of course, my girlfriend's frozen. Darn right! Oh, sorry, my voice. Darn right, if you know how to do it, tell me now. So be it, Ark, go out of the village. Five towers await you. Of tutorial, sort of. Not super tutorial, don't worry. Outside the village? What's outside of the village? And what do you mean by towers? The gate is open. You have the ability to succeed, and he walks through me. But now you can get those chests in here if you talk to him. And he tells you some info. What is it, Ark? The towers. Hey, Granddad, where are the towers? You know. No one here has ever set foot outside. Five towers await outside, each one controlling different living things. I said that incorrectly. That is all. And this does make sense later. You must seek the answers in the towers yourself. Alright, what is it? Ask about the box. Gramps, that box. What exactly was it? It's from a world that is opposite of ours. By freeing it, you upset the natural balance of this world. But it's real significance, you will come to learn yourself, yeah. And you can kind of guess what it is if you know anything about a story about a box that when you open it, something happens. I'm tired. Gramps, I'm tired. Close your eyes. Ah, uh, yeah, this is just a free in, if you need it. Hooray. First thing in a bed, and you can, yeah. Outside your- oh, I'll, I'll explain this. Crystal Spirit Hero over time. If you wish, cure yourself at once. Use a healing bulb now. Be on your way. Uh, we can access these. Take what you find in that chest. Should be of use. I think we get 50 gems and a healing bulb. Gems is, uh, the currency of this game. We get a small bulb. Go out into the great world, and I'll explain some stuff with fighting this episode, since... You know, oh, wow, what's this? <gasps> what? What is this? Voss? Uh, this is the gate Grandpa's talking about. Yeah, it wasn't here before. No one stepped outside this village, so where do they get the stuff to make the flower? Whatever. Sounds exciting. I'll go anywhere. Yay, let's go. We're gonna do stuff. And uh, this might give you motion sickness because it's mode 7 hell. Uh, first of all, everything is frozen. There are rivers of lava. And the music is epic. Uh, so, yeah. It looks inverted. It's nifty. And there's actually a reason why it looks inverted. But here's the first tower. You can't go into any of the other towers except this one. And it's right here. Do, 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 do. Spooky. Oh, they give you a hint there. See how there was a window that you can climb out of up there? This is what Gramps is calling a tower. Yeah, hmm. I'm getting excited. Ooh, a tower. Hmm, alright, let's go up here. Oh my gosh, it's a face. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? <gasps> oh, that was a delayed reaction. Hey, you don't spook me like that. I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm the guardian. What business have you here? <gasps> Say friends, people of the village. I've been frozen. What do I have to do? Tell me. Step forth into the tower. With within one are countless souls of living things. Reach the uppermost floor and gain the power to control the world. Ooh, okay, Ark. Will you test your fate? Alright, uh, we're gonna control the world, apparently, and find souls. Mmm, video games. So you go in here. Uh, so now, oh, we haven't equipped our weapon. I'm gonna explain, so yeah, you have to equip your weapon to go in here, or you can't attack. You can, like it said, you can hit, uh, uh, strength plus three, so that's just damage, pretty much. Gradually heals when equipped. You're equipped. Hurrah. Boom, now we can attack. Uh, so what happens is, uh, first I'll show off what the cry spear does. It only does it in this beginning world, so, oh, I just got hit. Now if you go over here and stand, you know, look, it's gradually recovering my HP. 25, 26... So if you're ever hurt, you can just hide someplace and wait. 
Now, there are multiple attacks you can do depending on the buttons you're pressing. Uh, first, just basic attack. Swing your spear. It's gonna do very minimal damage, especially now. These are beginner enemies. Think of them as slimes or goblins or something. But they're very easy. Uh, other attacks you can do, if you jump and hit attack, you'll do this spin move. It kind of puts you in, like, everything around you hits. It's very good to use against flying enemies that are jumping right towards you. But it, it, it's, it's not super useful, but it is. Uh, then there's, if you run and hit it, you do this. This is easily the best attack in the game. You'll be using it a lot. While you're doing that dash, that whoosh, you're immune to damage. I will use it on this guy. The double damage. It does a lot of damage. It's easy to use. All you gotta do is run first. Easy to control. Bam. It's very good to use because you're little and vulnerable right there. Then the final attack is you run, jump, and you'll do this slide. Boom. Some enemies that are uh, buried in the ground uh, that we run into later are- you can only hit them with this ability. It's- it's a little tricky to pull off because you gotta run, jump, you know, you gotta- it's a little combo. It's easily your most powerful move, and it's kind of area of effect because you slide like that, and you hit everything in your way. Whoop, I slid out of the tower. So it's very nice to use, but yeah. Let's see if we can hit- if they roll... Bow? Nope. Pfft. I'll- I'll- See, 12 damage. There's two more attacks you can do. Uh, if you mash your attack, you'll go into this, like, wah, 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 wah. Uh, this usually just does one damage, but it can lock guys against the wall, and you can use it against some big enemies that have, like, a bad recovery time and just constantly hit them. And the final thing is a block. You press, uh, I have it to the R button. Uh, while it looks like you're putting a shield in front of you, if you have it up, any projectile will miss you. It doesn't- you don't have to, like, face a certain way. So that's useful. Ah, uh, these guys have 4 HP. And they have little tutorial, this first area teaches you that you have to kill all the enemies sometimes to open a door. Hooray. Ooh. And... Now, with grinding, you don't really need to grind. There's two good grinding areas, and they're all before the area where you kind of need to grind before a fairly infamous boss. Ooh. This guy uh, shoots stuff and then disappears. I'll show you what happens if you get hit by his fire. You get toasted and you're frozen for a while, or you're just kind of like, bleh. So what you should do, when they appear, block their thing, walk up, hit them. They'll die. They're dropping gold. Uh... But yeah, what, before I show off what this is, what you should do in this game is, instead of grinding, just as you're backtracking, unless it's like the 50th time you backtrack through a puzzle, just basically kill everything. You know, don't don't try and skip encounters. Yeah, this uh, is a magic rock. Boop -a doop Arc obtained magic rock. We'll go into the little thing here. Go to the center door. Magic rock is the MP system of the game. It's a little uh, unconventional, but it works. So right here, magic rock, press... The button. Whoop! That's not the button I wanted to press. If you press the, the detail button, you have one Magirock with you, with you. Basically, however Magirock you have is your MP. You spend MP to buy rings and pins, which will fill up this box. And once you use the rings, you get the Magirock back. So what you do is you keep collecting Magirock and you buy rings or pins to use in situations. Once you use them, you get them back. So it's kind of like an MP pool and it's useful. There's, uh, there's some useful rings and pins. There's, a, like, a pin that heals all status ailments. It heals you. There's, like, things that hit everything on screen. Like, sort of a Bombo Zelda attack. Stuff like that. Very useful. I highly, highly... Oh, wait. Did I quit my, uh, clothing? Hold up. Might not have. Nope, I'm a genius. You get, a uh, free clothes. Make sure to check all equipment to see if it has any, uh, special properties. These don't, because they're early. But yeah, so magic you add, it's kind of optional, I'd say, in this game. You don't really need a magic to do a lot in this game. It's not super important. You can actually play the entire game without ever using magic. Uh, I certainly did, because I didn't understand how the magic worked. I are smart. Uh, but... This leads you down here. It leads you to this teeny gauntlet. Die. Nope. Ugh. T 
teeny gauntlet of fire dudes. Where are you? And if you kill them all, well, we level up. Pfft. Arc level two, life up five, strength up one, defense up one, luck up one. So now that we've leveled up before we talk to this soul, see your stats. Moom. This is all tutorial stuff, sorry. Go to the strength mirror. And yeah, so we saw we have strength, defense, and luck. Strength is the damage you do with weapons, and it's the little pluses are what's increased by your armor and weapons. Defense is defense. Gets all attacks. Luck uh, increases- it does two things. Increases your chance to get a critical, which we haven't seen. It's like a flashy number, and it usually does twice of what your normal attack is. And it also increases increases any magic damage, so keep that in mind. This also shows your magic and next experience. Now, unlike other games, like getting one strength doesn't mean one damage. It's levels are kind of thresholds in this game. You might be doing like one or two damage to an enemy, and then you get a level, and all of a sudden you're doing like twenty damage to them. It's odd. So all levels are good, even if it's just plus one. So let's talk to this soul. I'm a wandering soul. Oops, sorry, I bumped the fast forward button. I've been Living things have been transformed into monsters. Oh, dude, like you, save me, save the others. And he unlocks this door with his soul powers. <laughs> yeah, this is all the basics of combat. I'll show off the rings later. There is a magic shop, but we couldn't do anything in it in town because, well, we didn't have any magic rock. Now we have one. I think we get another one. I I think there's 96 magic rock in total, or 99. I know it sounds like there should be 100, but I don't think there is. Go down here. Uh, two things. Remember our- this attack? This immune attack? See how I can fly through him without him hitting me? Yeah. These guys hurt, though. This is the other way to, uh, kill these guys. Well, first, they can drop a lot of gold. They drop 20. Uh, get him over by a wall. And- oops. I said, get him over by a wall. And do your mash attack, and he cannot hit you. He'll just sit there, and you just mash, 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 until you kill him. Bam. We go up here, there's another magic rock. Hurrah! Yay! Uh, some of them are a little hidden, but these are very obvious. So just explore everywhere, there's some magic rocks. You have to do little uh, side quests, little games and stuff to get them. I don't think there's any more of those big guys. I'm just exploring, like I said. These towers sort of serve as tutorials, just sort of setting up puzzles in the game. Plus, they make you go through because you have to kill all the enemies to sort of unlock these souls. Your strength is being tested. Funning alone is not is not strength. Observation is the solution. Another hint. Uh, you hear this sound? Uh, in the, the- you can- if you go to the item menu or to your jewelry box down here, you can select an item. See, so it says, do you want to use it or equip it? Uh, you can equip it and have it just as a fast button on the side. I have nothing equipped, so when I press it, it makes a, a no button, a no sound. So, yeah. So I said, observation is the key. A lot of people get stuck on this game because of this. I did. I just kind of walked around until I found it. But this, uh, they did give you a hint when they showed you the tower, and there was that little, uh, thing. So, first we go down here. There's a chest. Ooh. Get another S bulb. I think you can only hold nine of each item too, so don't be afraid to uh, use them. But yeah, there's a broken window, and you can actually go through here, and you'll get out to this thing we saw at the edge of the tower, and you just climb down, climb back up. Yippity doo da. So that's what they meant. Observation is the key. Sorry, I clicked my mouth like that. It's a habit. And there's another Magirock. Oh no, it's another one of these guys. But since he's kind of stuck in a very nice area, you can pin him easily. Yeah. Probably the- oh, he didn't drop any gold, the meanie. Alright, so we'll get this Magirock. He was kind of the Magirock already. Now we have three MP. Alright, let's go up here. And we can jump down from here, when there's no wall. I think these guys are called Hue Balls. I can't remember, but they're very easy to kill. It's another one of these guys. Eh. No. Get against the wall for me. Yeah. So, uh, this is one of the uses of the rapid attack, so it's always good to know what attacks you have. And like I said, in the menu, we'll do this real quick. If you go to, uh, just the center door, you can go to... 
battle handbook, and it'll- I already explained all these moves, but it'll tell you how to do them, so... If you need help with that. Down there is where the magic rock was. We don't need to go. What we do need to do is go over here. Oh no, this guy's a little tough because you gotta get him against the wall here and then there you go. I did get hit a few times, but like I said, because this is the easy area, I like that they give you a slow regenerating health. They take it away, obviously, permanently as, as, at a different point, but it's very good to have it here. Ooh. There's a dude with, like, a dragon helmet. He looks kind of like a dragoon. I don't think there's anything else here, but I'm just gonna circle. Nope. Alright. Let's go up and talk to this guy. Hello, Kane. Ark, you have done well to reach here. The monsters you fell, their people's souls transformed. For some reason, that reminds me of Dr. Obachnik and the Flickies, but whatever. Upon overcoming this challenge, they will regain their form. So say. The Guardian held aloft his hand! No crap! <gasps> Hello? Ah! Hue balls! These are tougher. Uh, first, they actively attack you by rolling. This is where that- this maneuver comes in handy, because you're immune. Get the gold. So yeah, these are the tougher guys. Ah! Oh, I leveled. Cool. They're a little tougher than their purple counterparts. Yay, life up three, defense up one. Oh, we didn't get any strength, but that's okay. Oops, I got stuck on the wall. Yay, no, let me get that gold! The Guardian's voice echoed. Earth is trying to revive the breath of life. Land is on the verge of resurrection. Urk, that door. It's a super special keyword door. That door leads to the space for land's control. You may enter. Uh, if anyone's played this game before, th this is going to take up the rest of the video because, oh, is this long. Uh, so, you go into this magical space-time, fourth-dimensional whatever, and uh, you stand here for a while, and you see the earth. It slowly descends and bonks you on the head. Yup. Yup, yup. We just- I can't do anything, I can't hit buttons to make this go faster. And it goes, Shaheen! Yup. Then we get a cutscene of doo 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 doo. Shoo! The earth. This is a sweet earth, I might say. And we unlock that! Oh, look at this little dee 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 happy twinkie music with the swirl. Yay, well, it actually, uh, it looks like a piece of chewed gum. It's like, you have this now, a piece of chewed gum. A, B, C, gum. And then it shows kind of what the land that we're resurrecting is known for, sort of. So, look at these graphics. Super Nintendo graphics. Kind of reminds me of, uh, when you could enter in the images in Scorched Earth. Like, you can just imagine the little tanks. Just pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew. Ah, oh, Scorched Earth, the mother of all games. And na, 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 na. we unlocked. Or we've resurrected. Yeah, this this takes forever. Some temples and a statue. It's religion, it's new, it's spiritual. Eurasia, so we unlocked that whole huge, you know, the biggest continent pretty much. And the souls that we freed, uh, Ellie's back, I think that lady on the left is one of the weavers, and then the little girls are all the weavers. Hooray, we did it! Sort of, not fully. So that's the first tower. And I'm gonna go back to town, and I will get some magic rings. Ooh, we will, uh, explain the... Yeah, everyone is still pretty much frozen, but, uh... Yeah, wait for me, I'll get you back to your normal self. Wait for me, fisherman, wait. Oh my gosh, where the- where the chickens fro- Oh, the chickens were frozen, oh god! Oh, wait for me, chicken. Chicken, wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, my chickens. Oh. Let's go talk to our girlfriend. <laughs> we will- we will pine to her over the chickens. Ellie! Can I talk to you? <gasps> Ark! Well, I was barely conscious. I came to understand that it was you, Ark, who saved me. This is getting kind of creepy. I know now. 
for whom this weaving is intended. Just as you fought to save us, I too will help you. I will weave my soul into what I weave for you, Eric. Okie dokie. So, we're pretty much gonna end it here. The next thing I'll do, I'll go over Magic Rings and the, sh the store. I'll do that in the next episode. And then we'll go to the second tower. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.